uh, today's video is about um, Lumen Top Thor 2. Um, so there you go. The Lumen Top Thor uh, 2, second generation, although this is actually the first Lumen Top Thor uh, that Lumen Top produced. Um, it's very small, it's the smallest LEP flashlight I currently have. The next one, uh, I think this is the Ace BMW 10. This is quite a bit bigger, as you can see. Uh, and of course, the longest one is the uh, Max Talk, Max Touch, Max Talk um, L3K and L2K. Basically what you get, you get a very uh, simple cardboard box. Um, there. This is basically what you get. Just an, a box with a flashlight. And if you order the 18650 adapter, and this is what you get. There you go. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, mine didn't come with any accessories, no lanyard, no, um, no manual, no spare O-rings or whatnot. So it's just, just this, the, the, the flashlight. And I also received the um, extension adapter. And the good thing about the Limited Thor 2 is So the Lemon 4 2 has springs on both sides. So on the driver's side and then the tail cap. And so this means you can use uh, button tops as well as flat tops. And flat tops work just fine. And button tops as well. Even they are a little bit uh, longer. So. They work just fine. If you get the adapter, you can use flat tops and button tops. So flat tops, they work just fine. And this is one of the longest 18650s I have. This is a Phoenix 3500 with a uh, charge port, micro USB charge port and a button top. This is one of the longest cells I have. And no problem at all. One of the main, <laughs> one of the nice features is this. I mean, nice feature, I'm, I'm I personally not I, I don't really like this so much because you cannot turn it off um, unless you unscrew the body. But there you go. Um, I'm not sure if you can see over there. Hold on, there is a darker spot in there. Let me see if I, if I can show you. Probably not. Anyway, because of the um, kind of like cat eye, I call this a cat eye. Uh, here are slots for trits. I know how many. Uh, let me count two. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, oh, four. So four slit uh, <laughs> trit slots on the tail cap. And these are not trits, these are um, glow tubes. The glow tubes. Um, only glow but also light up and the green ones have some glow in the dark the red ones are very weak of course and there's some glow in the dark tape in the inside as well 
there's a convex lens over here that um, I'm not sure if you can see. Yep, which is protected by a glass lens. There's a glass lens over in here. Uh, so that is good to see. And this is how the inside looks. There's the cat eye LAP module and all the different colors, glow tubes. So that's how it looks like. So the user interface is very simple and straightforward. Press for on. So the user interface is very straightforward. Click for on, click for off. When it's on, tap for changing modes. Go from low to high and back to low again. Um, so yeah, the UI is very easy to, to, to use. There are no hidden modes as far as I know which is great. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you the different uh, numbers I got in terms of lumens and in terms of throw and see how it stacks up against these bad boys. So here you can see how the Lumen Top Thor in, with the 18650 battery uh, performs. This is the bad boy. So it drops at around five minutes about five minutes yeah uh, from about 800,000 candelas to about 330,000 it's still better than the like OLED Odin the Welltool W3 Pro um, the Ace Beam W10 Generation 2 and the next torch T10L and this is the Phoenix TK30 um, so yeah it's perfor it performed pretty good but when you look at the uh, larger LEPs and uh, this is the Max Talk L2K this is the Max Talk L3K the Welltool W4 um, Jetbeam M1X, the older one, the older version, performs really well. Then the Ace Beam W30, and this one over here is Lumen Top 4. So it's not performing too well if you compare it to the big boys. But when you compare them to the smaller, uh, to the smaller ones, it's definitely performing re really well. And here are the beam shots. Um, low, medium, high, compared to the Jet Beam 2S, you can see it's quite a bit brighter. This is this was taken on a different day. Um, but here you can see yeah, it's quite a bit brighter. Even in the Phoenix TK30, the T10L, T7L, W3 Pro, and this is the Odin Turbo. So, yeah, it's uh, performing pretty well compared to the other uh, smaller LAP flashlights.